hot. You're looking pretty good yourself. Do you, <laughs> do you want me to turn the air up? No, it's, it's, it's okay. I know you don't like the air conditioning. You shouldn't be uncomfortable. Now. I know, I know, but it's one of those adjustments we're going to have to make after we get married and we're living together. Kind of like sleeping in the same bed every night. Well, I'm giving Maxie Ooh. one more day. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm here to visit the newly engaged couple. I'm just so happy for you. Yeah. And you know, Christina and Molly have been planning the whole thing already, so yes, that's right. all taken care of. Yep. And uh, since I'm going to be your mother-in-law, we should probably hug. Really? So... Yeah. That's, that's nice. Yeah. Good. You all right? Oh, yes. I'm just so happy. And my thumb is itching. Do you, do you need something for that? Or to drink a water or something? A horse tranquilizer? I want to hear about everything. I oh. want to hear about the proposal. Of course you do. Um, it was beautiful. Dinner? Champagne? Yeah. Mm. Did it get down on one knee? Mom. Well, Molly's going to want to know. The ring. Where, uh, uh, no ring. Oh, that is a long story, actually. Yeah, Sam actually, uh... Decided to wear it around her, her neck right there. Oh, oh. Oh. Hmm. It's unconventional. No surprise. Yeah, I saw it as a symbol of, uh, you know, who we are. Yeah, our love. It's simple, honest, clean, you know. I get it. Very funny. No, really, this is the ring he proposed to me. Yeah, right? I didn't really have much time. Yeah, so you just picked up the first thing you saw? You don't mind wearing something that looks like it should be around Frankenstein's neck? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. We're just kidding with you. Of course he picked out a beautiful ring. Maxie lost it. It's a long story, though. Oh, fine. Go ahead. Make fun of your poor mother. I'm sorry. But really, he did have a whole wonderful evening planned, and he didn't want to postpone it, and it was romantic and beautiful and perfect. Oh, I'm so happy for you, honey. Thank you. Could I have a word with your fiancé just for a second? I really don't think this is a good idea anymore. I thought that you made peace with me and Sam getting married, that you gave your blessing, you were on board with everything. Did you change your mind because of a ring? Oh, no. No, I, I think the ring is funny. I think the hardware is inspired. Truly, it suits you. Then what? Then what? Yeah, then what? What's the what? Exactly. I think that, you know, the reality is, is settling in now. I, I'm sure it is for you, and I think we need to ask ourselves, what does this really mean, and, and why did you propose now? So if I told you that I'd love her, that just wouldn't be enough? It is. That's my point. It is enough. I mean, you've got a great relationship. Everything's working really well. Why wreck it and get married? I mean, I know that people tell you that should be the next step. Yeah, but, but we're not doing this for anybody else. Sure you are, because, uh, you know, why else would you? I mean, it's 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 conventional thing to do, and you're both very unconventional people. It's it's not you. I mean, right now, you're Jason, and then she's Sam, and before you know it, she'll be referring to you as the old ball and chain, and you'll be calling her a nag. It won't change who we are. Sure, well, it always does. I know. I've been there. You know, right now, you you have your own space, and, and if you, you want some time, Sam can just go to her own apartment, or, or if she feels like dressing up like a hooker and, and going out on a stakeout, she doesn't have to worry about how you feel about it. I mean, you can just be yourselves and be relaxed instead of, you know, being in this very compromised situation. I think I just swallow my own what, spit. The, what, are, you, are you okay? No, I just, it's hot in here. I mean, do you need, what do you need? I you need something. This was coming the second you walked in the door. Here. Thank you. Can I have a minute with my mother, please? <sighs> We're getting married. You're trying to give us the benefit of your own experience, but it's not necessary. I just don't want you to make the same mistakes that I made. Um, come on, I have my own bad relationship history to draw from. I'm trying to put that behind me, and you should probably do the same thing, too. 
Is this about me and Mac and all the possibilities for happiness that you're going to show no, me? No, it's about knowing your own happiness. But if, if seeing it in me helps and, and it gives you the chance to do it yourself... I've had plenty of chances. I've just made really bad choices. Okay. All right, that's okay. It's just time to start making good ones. And, and I don't know if that's necessarily with Mac or not, and, and neither do you. You just put yourself in this whole bunker mentality. You assume that nothing's ever going to work out and that every relationship is doomed. And trust me, I'm <laughs> no one to speak. I come from a lousy track record. But if it can happen to me... You can have me. I'm the one who's supposed to be giving you advice. I know. I'm just saying, please just give yourself a chance. Open yourself up to the possibility. How did you get to be so smart? Oh. I have a great mother. Are you okay? Are you feeling better? I'm feeling much better. Still a little worried about you and Jason, though. Yeah. Welcome to having a mother-in-law. Ooh. Hi. I was thinking my mom will come around. She's gonna have to. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we let her think that this was my engagement <laughs> ring. I just told the truth. What? No, we tortured well, her. Served her right, though, huh? You think it's true? You think things are going to change? Well, I think that people change. Yeah. Life happens. And yes, things will change. As far as being unconventional, well, I don't think we have anything to worry about there. Mm -hmm.